The flight to Egypt depicts the story of a small family from a foreign country, two parents with a child, who had to flee from their home. The family tells a group of hospital doctors about their dramatic escape. It turns out that the experiences they had reach the limits of the tangible and explainable. At first, the doctors have difficulties to understand the traumatizing experiences the family has had. But throughout the opera, the hospital team become witnesses to things they never expected to exist and encounter the incomprehensible. The family and the hospital team, who were previously strangers, become part of each other's story. The libretto was written by the German playwright Hermann Schneider and is based on the apocryphal infancy gospels. These are religious texts which tell the story of Jesus' childhood and how the Holy Family had to flee from the threat they were facing. These stories are full of timeless symbols and archetypes which make them independent from historical time or space. Aggression and destruction have been omnipresent since the beginning of mankind. It has destroyed lives of whole nations, forcing them to leave their home and all they had behind. Just like the doctors in the opera story, we are witnesses of dramatic flights that happen in our world every day. Flight to Egypt is an opera about boundaries and about overcoming them. Not only a story of crossing country borders, but also of overcoming one's personal limits and emotional boundaries, of casting off prejudices and eliminating cultural misconceptions, of confronting experiences beyond the limits of imaginable. The main element of the staging is a wall which functions as a border between two worlds, a border between the known and the unknown, the tangible and the bizarre, the reality and the abstract. Throughout the story, this wall becomes more and more permeable, and where there was once a border, communication between here and beyond becomes possible. In the music as well, I want to reveal the concept of crossing borders on various levels. The musical language often crosses the border between noise and pitch, between melody and abstract sounds. Additionally, it is enriched with folk music elements, such as guitar and tambourine, which are unusual instruments in classical opera. The opera singers also perform in unusual ways. The audience experiences all kinds of sounds, from classical singing to screaming, whispering, whistling, breathing and so on. The multicultural background is underlined by the simultaneous use of three different languages. German, English and Arabic meld into each other, sometimes within one sentence. Oh, oh, oh. 
By crossing artistic and musical borders in many possible ways, I give the audience the chance to get close to the emotional state of the opera characters themselves. Opera is a genre that has always fascinated me. Not only due to the connection of sound and image, which opens up plenty of expressive possibilities, but also because singing is the most physical way of making music. In my compositions, I try to make this physicality accessible to the listeners, thus to carry them into an emotional otherness. Art is like small electric shocks, which wake you up from the numbing routine of daily life, and thereby facilitates the awareness of oneself and the world. Music of high intensity leads to strong emotional experience. Ah!